Uh, while all these announcements and the follow-ups uh, have taken place at various levels uh, down the line, after the two NSAs have led the initiative, uh, there have been meetings, number of meetings, number of initiatives, number of uh, exchanges between academic institutions on both sides and also industry. Uh, the fact remains that uh, proof of the pudding is always in eating. And to uh, translate the intent into outcomes uh, quickly, both the sides will require uh, a follow-up mechanism, uh, not necessarily at the highest level, but creation of a mechanism, a council, uh, a, a management team, a project management team, whatever you want to call it, to follow up on each of the items, each of the verticals that have been spoken about. Because if implemented correctly and if followed up uh, by uh, the push given by uh, the leadership, at the highest level, both by Prime Minister Modi and uh, President Joe Biden, irrespective of uh, what happens politically, if the two systems can get their act together, this is going to be the game changer as far as India-United States relations is concerned, because it will renew domestic manufacturing on both sides, it should create higher value employment, will reduce trade deficits, expand exports, and uh, give a challenge uh, finally to the Chinese behemoth, the Chinese juggernaut on innovation and uh, experimentation and uh, the, the kind of uh, critical technologies that the Chinese are developing at a very fast pace. To keep up with the Chinese, keep up or keep them uh, checked or keep them uh, under control and uh, not uh, be left far behind, India and the United States have the wherewithal to create an alternative ecosystem, an alternative vision, an alternative uh, roadmap for uh, critical and emerging technologies, provided, as I mentioned, bureaucracies on both sides uh, measure up to what is the expectations at the highest level. And of course, all other elements like the industry, academia, research institutions, all of them come together. Innovation uh, is easy to talk about but very difficult to implement or uh, difficult to initiate. And that's something we have to be aware of. This may not happen overnight. It, it, there is no way it can happen overnight, but uh, there is uh, immense potential in the ISET or the Initiative on Critical em and Emerging Technologies. And that's what we have to watch out for in 2024. As both sides go into the election year, India uh, before US, of course, but uh, that uh, shouldn't deter or shouldn't distract the people, the principles involved in implementing ISET and taking it uh, to its logical, not conclusion, but to its logical result and outcomes.